Maybe it'll even be a double battle with Zinnia. Who knows? Gah? Oh no. Alright, and the winner is Zinnia! Yay! Leader Maxi, please compose yourself! Yeah. The great Maxi has fallen to this woman? Mer, Mer! Oh, oh, what's this? Aren't you a happy girl, Aster? Just what I'd expect of my daughter. We're so in sync. <laughs> Woman, who are you? Who am I? That's a surprisingly difficult question. Dot dot dot. I couldn't become who I was supposed to be, so who does that make me now? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, right? Enough with the introspection and the soul searching. You there, Riz! Are you facing me now? Yes, you are, okay. Don't just stand there like a stick in the mud. Come on over and say hi. Alright, I'll do that. Hey, guys! Could it be? The child? You. Why are you here? Isn't it obvious? He's the hero, right? Here to save the world again. Oops, but looks like he's a bit too late this time. If only he'd been here just one minute earlier. I don't know how Zinnia got here, considering she doesn't have any flying-type Pokémon. Zinnia snatched the Keystone away from Maxi. The leader? Alright, I'd say this Keystone is mine. We finally got everything, Aster. They don't have my Keystone. I guess they don't need it. Mer? Now we can do it. The summoning. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. But interesting as well. We will summon Rayquaza! Oh... I didn't know he had to be summoned like that, okay. Well then, looks like my job here is done. So don't mind me while I excuse myself. No, I want to challenge you. Oh, Riz? I really hope you'll come chasing after me, you know. We'll be heading to that ancient tower, sealed since primal times. The Sky Pillar, which I think is by Pacific Log. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, well, ask that former champ of yours. He'll know what I'm talking about. See you there. Murr! Alright, goodbye, I guess. Well, I'll see you there, I mean. What is going on here? Who does she think she is, messing up our base and then giving us the slip? They can never be forgiven! Hmm, now I see. Yes, it was not chance that brought you here now. This was inevitable. Leader? Tabitha, give it to him. Oh cool, there's a thing to give! What did you say? Is that alright? Yes. Now that the keystone has been stolen, a megastone will serve me no purpose. Acknowledged. Alright! Riz obtained a camera up tight! I don't have a camera up, but thanks anyway, Maxie. Camera up tight. Make sure your camera up holds onto it tightly. With its opposable thumbs? I do not have the power now to use Mega Evolution, so I entrust it to you. I entrust her believing that this is the best action I can now take. That woman. She had such utter mastery over her Dragon-type Pokémon. There was more to her than meets the eye. Am I- maybe I'm thinking of Courtney's camera up when I was thinking of what Zinnia had. I don't actually remember fighting Zinnia right now. I remember fighting her, but I more remember just her being crazy, like the look in her eyes and the way she like dang- it was weird. That's all I really remember. Maybe she had like a bunch of Flygons or something. I don't know. I do not know what must be going through her mind, but I think you may be the only one who can now stand against her. So I ask you this favor. Rage, take up this fight for me and bring this crisis to its revolu- Resolution. Not revolution. Different. Oh, I was like, they disappeared. No, they're just in the back. The entry call of version 0.09 app rang on your PokéNav Plus. Riz, are you alright? Da da da. Is that right? I never even imagined. The Keystone, the Sky Pillar, and the Draconic peep Draconid People. So that's it. I begin to see the line connecting these dots. I think we need to meet up at once to discuss what we should do next. I'll be waiting at the Space Center, up on 2F. Just say Floor 2 when it's dialogue. Do hurry. <laughs> oh no! Stephen was electrocuted! <laughs> Not really. Alright, but instead of having to find my way out, I'm gonna use an escape rope, and then we'll fly there, and it'll be awesome, and we can continue on. Now I'm disappointed. Why can't I use an escape rope? Maybe because there's gonna be a scene at the end of this, like, as we're leaving. That's... that's probably what it is. Awesome. 
I look forward to it then. Or they just really didn't want me using an escape rope. I guess. Nothing's happened yet, and at this point, I don't think that anything will happen. Hmm. Making sure out here is clear? Alright! Off to the space center. And here's the second floor of the Moss Deep Space Center, where Steven is indeed waiting for us. Riz, I've been expecting you, probably because I told you to meet me here. Yeah, I know, what's up? Tell me about this Sky Pillar thing. Oh, I guess I just recounted it all. Ah, that's it. Or that's it. That woman, that Zinnia, she mentioned the Sky Pillar. Few can enter it, only the successors of the ancient world who know of what has been. The lore keepers who are tasked with passing on that knowledge to those who come after. Hmm, I see. Do you remember Wallace, whom you met in Cetopolis? Yes, I do. I fought him and I got a badge. Is that right? That is a relief. The gym leader of Cetopolis, Wallace, should know how to undo the seal on the Sky Pillar's entrance. He's also one of the few humans who have inherited such ancient lore. I will remain here and work with the professor and his team to devise a plan for what to do next. That woman, Zinnia. I cannot put my faith in her. We'll think of a new way to stop the meteoroid on our own. Zinnia and the Sky Pillar, I will leave them in your hands. I'll send a message to Wallace for you so he knows to help. You'll probably find him in the Cave of Origin in Zetopolis. Why is he inside? He's supposed to protect it. Just, like, seal it. And stand in front of it, maybe, but you gonna need to go inside. He better be checking on the remains of... Not the remains of Groudon, because I didn't kill Groudon, I captured Groudon. Of his house, his place, his old habitat. Hmm. Well, should be fairly easy. Alright, I guess, actually, before... If I'm remembering correctly, in the normal ruby, in order to get to the top of Sky Pillar, you know, to get Rayquaza, you actually needed the mock bike, because you had to do this, like, stupid, hard kind of biking over, you know, cracks. I don't know if it's gonna be the same here, especially since now we don't just have a D-pad, but we have the little circle pad to use, and you can maneuver a little bit more. I don't know how it maneuvers with the, uh, um, mock bike. But just in case, I am gonna go talk to the owner and get it switched out, and then we'll meet him in Cetopolis. Alright, test run! Is this the mock bike? Yeah, because B's not doing anything, but being able to use the, the like, circle pad instead of the D-stick, or D-stick, the D-pad, it doesn't seem that difficult to control, actually. It's quite interesting. All right, but yeah, we're gonna step out here, and then we're flying. All right, Wallace, I'm coming! I need, oh. Ah, huh, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, there you are. I need your help, Wallace. What a glorious turn of events. Is it really? <laughs> Is it really? I don't know what's happening. To think that this tree... I never knew we had received it from that huge man who visited from the Kalos region. That huge man? You mean like the man who was walking forever? Hmm. Goodness me, old master. This has been a learning experience. I thank you for this. <laughs> You're too kind, Master Wallace. <laughs> no, 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 you're too modest. <laughs> now then, welcome again to Cetopolis, our new champion, Riz. Steven has told me everything. Do you wish to go to the Sky Pillar? Yes, yes I do, but it didn't let me choose that time. It is true of the cave that leads to the Sky Pillar can only be opened by the hand of someone descended from the ancient people of Cetopolis. I didn't know that, as indeed am I or by one of the Draconids, oh, who have also lived in Hoenn since ancient times. The Sky Pillar is in fact an altar built for the ascension of Rayquaza, that a legendary Pokemon long said to be the protector of the Hoenn region. Only the ancient Draconid people know how to summon Rayquaza to the Sky Pillar. Steven has told me of the woman Zinnia. She must be trying to re revive Rayquaza for some purpose. I shall go first to the Sky Pillar. When your preparations are complete, come join me. The Sky Pillar towers over everything upon one of Route 131 small islands. Dang it, couldn't you have been a little more specific? Like, put the coordinates on my map so I could just fly there. Or not. Alright, what does the old man have to say? Young Master Wallace headed to the Sky Pillar a short while ago. I'm sure you saw him, he just barely left. The Sky Pillar lies on a small island floating along Route 131. What is that? You want more details? Whoa! <laughs> 
Uh, Route 131 is, yeah, just to the right of Pacific Log. So I guess I'm going to Pacific Log. And then I'm surfing out that way and just kind of hoping that I come across it. I'm definitely going to pop a repel once we land here because surfing, I don't want to keep running into Pokemon like that. That would just be annoying. So let's start off right here, right on the corner. And uh, d -d -d which one is it? Is it here? It's got to be here. And where's my super repel? Hope I didn't pass it. There it is. Okay. I have to sneeze! Thank you, I feel better now. Okay, so we're dropping that. We did pop it, we're good. Next, we just need to find it. Just need to find it. It's a towering pillar, but given the perspective of this game, a little more difficult to see for us than it might be for Little Riz there. So though, if it's just one of the small islands, it can't be that difficult because it's fairly linear, you know? Like, they have a lot of barriers when you're surfing, so... Hoping that's it. Uh, I don't have to... Well, here's an island. This island is boring. I'm leaving. I'm gonna say it's not that one. Oh, actually, I'm on Route 130 now, aren't I? Let's go back. Okay, we're back on 131. Here is an island! Sky Pillar! Oh, it just tells me it's this way. Was that signpost there before? I figured for something so ancient and mysterious, they wouldn't just have a signpost, but they do. Proves me wrong. Here it is! Hey, I'll save, just to be sure. Again, I don't want anything bad happening. Yes? So, you've come, Riz. Of course I have. I'm me. As you can see, I have undone the seal and the entrance to the Sky Pillar. Follow the path within and you will reach the pillar in time. However, to go beyond this point, there is one more trial you must overcome. This is my duty as one of the ancient Sutop... Sutopolitans. Sutopolitans. This is my duty as one of the ancient... Dang it! This is my duty as one of the ancient Sutopolitans. There we go. A duty passed down to me by my former master. You must battle me, here and now. Prove to me that your power is great enough to face what lies ahead. Now tell me, are you prepared? Yes! Then let us begin. Champion of Hoenn. You, who should exhibit the most graceful arts in battle with your Pokémon. I would have you show me your true strength. Alright, even though we just beat him before, as the gym leader, he's gonna challenge me again in hopes that he can win. I mean, granted, he's... He's got to be a little stronger. And I do like this time he's Topolitan Wallace instead of Gym Leader Wallace. That's kind of cool. He at least has six Pokemon this time. I don't think he did last time. Um, I'm going to switch straight away to Chispa for this guy. Like, I don't want to bother with all of that, you know, trying to get experience for Fang. When Fang could just die against the Waylord. I don't know how strong it is. Oh no, not Heavy Slam. S oh, I thought they'd do a lot more given that it was Waylord. Alright, discharge! Cause that should hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, well critical hit, that helped. But it definitely got it down. Next we have a Whiskash, which is the yeah, the ground one. Right, we're gonna use Little Sap for this. A nice seed bomb ought to do it, right? Oh. You're gonna be sorry, Whiskash. Never mess with me! All right, so there it is, and there it goes. Yay, there it is. Okay, good. Next we have... Melotic. Hmm, I don't... I guess I'll keep Little Sap out. I don't know what should be better between Little Sap and Chispa. But we're gonna go with Little Sap. So, Seed Bomb! Oh, level 57! Um, I haven't exactly been paying attention to their levels. Oh, wow, that was... Never mind. Little Sap did the job. Good job, buddy. Uh, but yeah, he's actually... He has pretty strong Pokémon right now. Ooh, I should've switched out for Chispa, actually. The whole grass against poison is not great. Let's just see to make sure. Yeah... You know what, though? One more Seed Bomb and it'll be down, so I might as well just do it again. Or... Mock Punch! And hope that that does enough. 
Barely. Good. I got worried when I saw how slowly it was draining. And Ludicolo! For this one, we're actually going to need... Water. Grass. Flying type! There we go. That came out weird. Let's see. How many people, like, constantly want to say bird type? I don't, but I used to. I used to want to say bird type all the time. Now we're just gonna... I'll use a fly to make sure that the job is done. Ow. Dang it. That move is just so annoying because it's like... It hardly does anything. It just makes you waste a turn. Whatever. Oh, good. I didn't know you knew Ice Beam. I'm glad I used that then to take it out right away. Maybe Aerialist would have done it. Brave Bird would have done it for sure. But a lot of damage on my end. So... Lastly, we have a Gyarados. I will switch for this one. We'll send out Chispa. This is gonna be no problem. Okay. So, oh no, my attack is lowered. What will I do? I'll use Discharge. And see how quickly your health falls. Uh, quickly enough. That was pretty good. Almost all of his Pokemon went down in one hit, so I'm pretty happy with that. To defeat me, a descendant of the ancient Cetopolis people, and even when I was holding nothing back. Oh, I guess I'll continue, actually, in a cutscene sort of deal. As I have come to expect from you, Riz. You are an excellent Pokemon trainer. The Pokemon that you sent out in that battle? At times dancing as lightly as an elusive spring breeze yet striking with the sudden surety of lightning from the blue. Watching you command the battle with such ease and grace. Even I might succumb to your charm. <laughs> Wallace. <laughs> now go forth. Find the truth that you seek. As one of the ancient people of Cetopolis, I cannot intrude upon this holy place. I will return to Cetopolis for now and try to lay plans in case the worst should come to pass despite all our efforts. I'm sorry that we always seem to be leaving the fate of all the world in your hands. Yet there it lies once again. Good luck to you, young champion. Thanks, Wallace. I'm sure that I won't let you down. I'm gonna save again, because that was a pretty cool thing. And now we get to go inside. So with all that, thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, I would love to have you guys. So, it's in the next time for my next video. Until then, take care. Cue outro, go!